On the first step, we're gonna take some of this fusion, rose gold, and get it on here. Just our first coat. We're not worried about what it looks like because it's not gonna be pretty on your first coat. The second coat is where all the magic will come in. And make sure you get your sides, your inside. That's why we taped this out so that we won't get it all over the mirror. And you want your outside. And now that we have let the first coat dry and we expedited the drying process with uh, our hair dryer to make it go faster, it took about 10, 15 minutes to let it totally dry. Now we're gonna come back across and get a second coat on. This is the coat that you're really gonna start to see the rose gold come out in it. So this is pretty quick, pretty simple, and pretty easy so far. We're about to be able to move on to the really fun part of adding some more glamour to it. And this part is very important, so I'm gonna go over it with you guys. You wanna get this painter's tape off while your paint is still wet. You do not want it to dry. So you want to go slow and steady and you want to pull away from the frame. You don't want to pull back towards it and rip all the paint off. You want to pull away from the frame or the side that you're taking it off of. You don't want your paint to dry because then you're going to get ripping and all kinds of marks along the sides that you don't want. And for the next step, we're going to take pieces that are left over from our Cosmic Roses Redesign with Prima transfer to decorate this mirror. And as you guys can see, we've pre-cut our Redesign with Prima Cosmic Roses transfer. We had pieces left over, so we cut it to fit in the corner. Now remember, before you put a transfer down on a window, piece of glass, or a mirror like this, make sure it's where you want it because it sticks really, really easily. The adhesion is a lot easier than when you're putting it on a painted surface. Okay, we just had a little bit of it that wasn't sticking down. So we've got that, and we didn't want to bore you with all the ugly details <laughs> of that one. So we've got this one on here, and then I've decided that we're just going to add a little bit of cool writing to it. We'll put it down here, have it slightly go over our flowers, and we really don't care if it comes out perfect, because if it doesn't, that gives us the cool old weathered look that I like a lot, and that is so in right now. Okay. And we've pre-cut another corner piece right here of our Cosmic Roses transfer that we're going to use. So we're just going over it to get any air bubbles out. It is it's looking awesome. And we've got this corner in which we're gonna add one more piece after we come back and we burnish it. So we're gonna take our shiny side, fold it over a couple times. We're just gonna run over the, and burnish it to make sure that all the edges are down and we don't have any air bubbles in here, which we don't. That's perfect. I hope y'all have enjoyed this process of taking this $7 Walmart mirror and adding some glitz and glamour to it. I'm Dustin Van Fleet of Dustin Van Fleet Design, and I'll catch you on the flip side.